Benjamin, or Benny, as I understand he was known, was not a regular parishioner, and sadly I didn't know him personally. But a sudden and unexpected loss like this is hard on all those left behind. And we share in the great sadness felt by each and every one of you, his friends, family, and colleagues. We now commit Benny's body to the flames, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the shore and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. If Benny's made it through the pearly gates, there's hope for us all. Why? What was he like? Ah, he was a good old-fashioned rogue, was Benny. Charm the birds from the trees. Oh, a roper, was he? <laughs> Worked mainly as a fixer, but he could turn his hand to anything. He was complete natural. He was amazingly intuitive. He could spot a mark in the blink of an eye. Yeah, you should have seen his card tricks. Fastest ends I ever saw. Look, I'll see you back at the ranch. Hi, where are you going? Ah, uh, got a meeting at the bank. Oh, he has a winner. Yes, yeah, simply Chris, 2.30 at Wing Canton, 20 to 1 in Benny's honour. Look, I'll, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll jump out here. Righto. There you go. Cheers, mate. Just been to a funeral, the walk might do me good. Went to your funeral. It's complicated. I saw him cut out the bank, so I legged it. Who? Oh. And I saw somebody chase me. Didn't realise it was you. Thought I was a dead man. Easy mistake to make, apparently. Why the bloody hell are you chasing me? Because I've always wanted to see a ghost up close. Look, Benny, for Christ's sake, calm down and have a drink. Benny was an old-school grifter. Back then, all you had were your wits. No mobile phones, no internet and tricks or gadgets. Yeah, the first person to say those were the days gets the next round in. You know, you almost wound up on this crew. It was a toss-up between him and Ash. And you chose Ash? Mm. Oh, you can't have been that smart. Benny was smart, all right. He even saved Mickey's butt once. You? From who? Cops. Well, this I have to hear. It was a long time ago. No, 10 years. 15. Whatever. Yeah. 
Benny and I were working a scam together and I got sloppy. The mark turned out to be old Bill. I hadn't checked him out properly. But Benny recognized him and at the last moment he switched the cases back. So, what do we have here? It's all there. Can it if you want. It cost me 20 grand, but if it wasn't for Benny, I'd have done five years. Nice doing business, mate. Thank you. All this time, Mickey, we've been under the misapprehension that you're invincible. Yeah, I mean, this Benny guy sounds like a right legend. You gotta hand it to him, the man had balls of steel. I lost my mojo. I'm in the self doubt crept in, I knew he was in trouble. I tried one last corner. A big one. Came this close to selling a house that never existed. Guess who, too? Oh, I don't know, mate. Paul Daniels. An Arab shake. Oh. Royalty, you know this? It was a beaut, Ash. You would have loved it. There are four identical streets in Bath, right? All in a row. So I invented a fifth. Had him on the hook for an eight-bedroom Regency Villa, 3.5 million, reduced from four for a quick sale. Bargain. So what happened? His lawyer was at university there, knew the place back to front. Guy with the skin of my teeth. But now I'm desperate, so I start doing the spreads. Spread bait. I know, I know Mugs game, but if you do your homework... Anyway, but this time I'm totally skint, can't get any credit off the high street bookies, so I start dealing with this Iranian bloke, Danush. Seems on the level, gives good prices, always pays up in cash at any minute. Fast forward with the World Cup. All I need's for ruining the boys to do what they do every Saturday afternoon, and I'm sitting pretty in a dead set, 25 grand win. What, you cheering England? You know, I wish I'd seen that. Aussie, no, no, but business is business. Or so I thought. I come the final whistle of that, 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 that farcical Germany game. The telly's out through the window, and I'm sitting there with a 40 grand stain in my trousers. Nasty. Very. No, no, no. But it gets worse. Turns out this, this bloke, Danush, whose nickname I now learn is the dentist on account of his favourite method of persuasion, has interest rates and make credit cards look like save the bloody children. Cut to four weeks later. On an unscheduled extraction, right here, a 40 grand debt spiral to 100. Says I can pay back at 10 grand a month. Yeah, right. So you fight your own debt. What else could I do? Well, I don't know. Uh, get on a plane. I can't afford a bus ticket, let alone a plane ticket. Well, what about the show? Come on. I mean, you were the best at that. No, Ash, man. No, I... I've lost it. Big time, man. I said, you know, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's like these are somebody else's hands. I, c I can't even shuffle a deck of cards anymore. Let alone pick a pocket. Nice, <laughs> calm down. Yeah. <laughs> are you, uh, are you sitting down? Cheers. Cheers. You look pretty damn perky for a stiff. Death ain't all it's cracked up to be, trust me. <laughs> well, you certainly had us fooled. Yeah, yeah, we bought a wreath and everything. We even signed the book of condolence. I'm touched. Officially now the shortest book in the world. Why, what does it turn out like? A uh, wet midweek friendly between Brentford and Burn Albion. Oh. Still, there's, uh, there's always next time, eh? You don't have to do this. No, no, I know we don't, but we're gonna anyway. In our game, we always take care of our own. Well, this is your home, and, you know, I, 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 these two don't even know me. No. We'll get you back on your feet in no time. I've taken the liberty of running you a bath, so you can just dump your clothes in the bin, try those for size. Uh, those are... Thanks. Uh, you, all of you, you've seriously saved my nuts. Uh, a couple of days I get my head together, I come up with a plan, I'll, I'll be out here. Bathroom's that way. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. So when you said you were collecting your winnings, I was hoping you'd come back with a takeout and a bottle of fizz. Instead, you bring us a lodger. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? Leave him on the streets? No, you did the right thing. Benny's a complete wreck. He wouldn't have lasted five minutes out there, especially with that nutter after him. But with the best one in the world, we can't let him stay indefinitely. No, we could give him some cash, buy him a plane ticket. Well, he mentioned Spain. Uh, wanted to end up in Marbella. Hmm. We could. Or alternatively... We could... Kill two birds with one stone. Mm. Mm. That's what I call of you. And I'll rate for yourselves. Yeah, it's not easy, though. 
not meant to be easy, was it? Wouldn't be worth doing if it was. Well, I don't know, sometimes I'd settle for easy. No, 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 no. Easy means lazy, lazy means sloppy. Sloppy means you get nicked, trust me. Amen to that. Listen, Benny, we've, uh, we've got a little plan we want to run past you. I'm all ears. This Danush character, why don't we take him down? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's a nasty piece of work, he's greedy, and best of all, he's in the cash game. Haven't you been listening? This isn't some sleazy businessman looking to turn a quick buck. He plays by a whole different set of rules. You don't want to mess with the noosh. Yeah, well, like I said, it was just a thought, you know. Anyway, Benny, um, there's someone we'd like you to meet. A companion for you when we're out and about. Someone, um, intelligent. Yeah, charming. Great sense of humour. And terrific legs. Eddie. Benny, Benny, this is Eddie. Honest, honest. You've been strangling the cat again, Ed. Uh, yeah, very funny, because actually you're insulting the work of a genius. Why? Who is it? God, heathens, the lot of you. Joe Oliver, one of the greatest exponents of jazz that ever lived. Uh, Benny's confined to quarters for a while. Thought you could babysit. He's got to keep his head down. Be my pleasure. Be a bit of sophisticated company for a change. Yeah, that's a nice hoodie, that, mate, by the way. Yeah, don't worry, you'll be safe down here. Drinks all round, Ed. Uh, we're, his, uh, we're his only customers. I heard that. Do you know what, Benny? They've got a point. Danush is right for the picking. Yeah, maybe. But he's also smart and extremely dangerous. There are easier marks. Yeah, none that we've got on the hook right now anyway. It's like you said, it's not about easy. Benny, you're in a bit of a hole right now. We want to help get you out of it, all right? We'll cut you in on anything we make. It may be enough to get you back on your feet. Think of it as your Marbella fund. All you have to do is help us out. Uh, guys, I appreciate you trying to help me, but I don't know. Danush is seriously bad news. Look, you need out of this town fast. You got any better ideas? What would you need me to do? Just give us the lowdown on Danush, uh, help come up with a plan, and then leave the rest to us. <sighs> OK, OK. But don't say I didn't warn you. Good lad. OK, so what have you got? What, on Danush? Hmm. There's not a lot, huh? <sighs> you not going to order another drink, or are you just going to sit here? Probably just gonna sit here, actually, mate. Oh, come on, Benny, you must remember something. He's Iranian. So you said? Where does he operate from? I don't know, I never said. Where did you meet him? Uh, at a boxing gym, he, he does a workout every day. Well, he's got to have an office somewhere or something. Look, I, we weren't exactly drinking buddies, you know. I'm sorry, but I, I don't know anything about him. But you recognise him if you saw him, yeah? Yeah, of course I would. Why? Maybe he's not gone today. You said he goes for an hour every morning. I mean, it goes regularly. I don't know if it goes every single day. Could be a long wait, then. And if he sees me, I'm so dead. I, I, I've shown you the gym and told you what it looks like. Can't you just drop me back at the bar? This is West London, Benny. He's Iranian, late thirties. That doesn't narrow things down very much around here. Benny? It's him. You sure? Of course I'm sure. You, would you please get me out of here? Yeah, you keep your head down, mate. We'll have you back at the ranch in no time. Oh. Aye, aye. Yeah, you, uh, you best keep your head down, Benny. Why? What's he doing now? He's uh, helping an old lady with her shopping, but he is looking this way. This is Danush. We think his surname's Larijani, but he's likely to have lots of aliases. This is where he's based, an industrial unit in Stanmore, but he meets a few of his punters like Benny here in a cafe at the Silver Street Boxing Gym after his morning workout. And that's it? Oh, come on, Benny, Benny, you must remember something else. A face, a name, a little snippet of something. Anything. I'm sorry, I... Right, OK, we'll have to get out there ourselves. Use your usual contacts. Someone must have heard of him. Oh, Sean, Emma, we need access to his laptop and his mobile phone, anything that'll get us the inside track. This man is elusive. Do whatever you need to. 